Now sit down, my children. There. And I'll tell you the story of the little babe who was born in a manger and became the Prince of Peace. It was cold that night in David's town. Snow in the fields and the air so still. And shepherds huddled near their flocks and a bright star shone on a lonely hill. Then the voice of an angel called to them. In fright, the shepherds went kneeling down. Fear not, the angel spoke. This day, the Christ is born in David's town. Behold the child. He has no wealth, nor shoes, nor silk, nor anything. His home a stable, bleak, and cold. Yet, he is our savior and our king. So was it many, many years ago, in a manger on a winter morn, when the Christ child first saw the day and the Prince of Peace was born. Aren't you children asleep yet? <laughs> oh, Daddy, isn't Christmas wonderful? Can't we stay up to see Santa Claus? Why, Santa Claus only comes when children are fast asleep. Now, get into bed, both of you, and suppose I'd tell you a story. You know, the one about the night before Christmas. Oh, please, do, Daddy. Daddy, please. please. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash Tore open the shutters and threw up the sand. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Dixon, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he smoked it and circled his head like a reed. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. <laughs> a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the town of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.